Hi guys, PJ here. Today I'm taking a look at Sunset Overdrive, the PC release. Now, the aim of this video is to hopefully try and give you a quick guide on how to eliminate the well, the black bars uh, that, that are appearing on screen if you've got an ultra-wide set. Now, I run a 21 and as you can see, we have black bars on the left. It's not very good, it's not very nice. Um, the game so is really a console port in you know, the truest of the manner. The, the code is a bit of a mess, to be honest with you. The fix isn't nice and straightforward. It's not like Fallout 76, for example, or you can edit in any file. This is going to require you to download a hex editor. Uh, I'm going to put a link to the hex editor, which is free, in the description below the video and show you exactly how to use it and what values to put it in. Now, it's not really complicated, but it is a little bit more fiddly than changing in any file. So without further ado, let's get the game into an online display and uh, take a look at what it looks like how to do it. So first things first, guys, you're going to go to the link that I'll put in the description, which is this one here on the toolbar. Obviously pick whichever one's relevant to yourselves and basically download it. It's going to download it into a zip file. Once you've got your zip file, unpack it into whatever destination folder you want and run the program. So, when you've opened your hex editor, which is a nice simple program to use, we're not going to go into anything too extreme with it. It'll open up into this or into a windowed version of this. And all we're going to do is locate the exe file, the executable file for Sunset Overdrive. So, for example, if you've got a shortcut on your desktop, we're going to go to where that shortcut goes to. So if you click file, click open, then go to whatever drive you've got the game installed on, and then find Sunset Overdrive as such. And yes, you'll notice I had more than one folder there for Sunset because I've been working on this, doing different things. So yeah, to back up, you will have one folder showing Sunset Overdrive. If you go down to find your .exe, it's right down at the bottom. So scroll all the way down. There we go, sunset.exe, open that, like so, and we bring all this up. Now, like I say, the code on this game is a bit of a mess, so if you're into your code and you do understand some of this, you will look at this and go, yeah, it's a mess. It's a console port, like I say, not a great one. So the next thing we need to do is search. Now, if we go to search and then find, and then what we're going to do is tab across here to hex values. There we go. Now you notice I've done this already in the past, so this is the hex number that we're looking for, and this relates to the screen size, yeah, in a basic term anyway. So we'll put these numbers in, like I say, these will be in the description below, so you'll be able to find them, and then we click OK. There we go. It'll shoot all the way down to here, you'll notice that the bar has moved sort of halfway or so, and it's highlighted these numbers here, which are to do with screen size. Now these are the numbers that we need to change to convert it to 21 by 9 ultra wide display. Now, depending on your resolution, again I will put the numbers in correlating to two of the common resolutions below in the description, but you will need to change these numbers to the newer values. So for example, my display is 2560 by 1080. I need to put numbers in to replace these to reflect that display. I will list the numbers below the description. So we're going to edit those numbers right now. So we come across and change these numbers. Yeah. And then paste the new ones in. Yeah, there we go. 9A99 1940 is 2560 by 1080. Okay, so that's my resolution dealt with. I have a second set of numbers to search for, okay, while you're here. So you're doing the first set, go to search, go to find, keep it on hex values, and then paste these numbers in. Again, these will be in the description below. Click OK. It highlights them. Then you're going to replace those numbers just like we did the first set. So again, get rid of those, backspace and paste the new numbers. New numbers there look, 0008841. Okay, so you've replaced two lots of numbers now. Once you are happy that you've replaced both sets of numbers, you can then go ahead and save. 
So go to File and then Save or Control and S, whichever shortcut. That has now saved it, it's overwritten your original one with your new values and this should give you a 21 by 9 2560 by 1080p display. The other numbers for higher resolution are in the description below and all you will do is replace the two sets of numbers with the higher numbers for obviously a higher resolution display. So now let's game and make sure it's all worked. And there we go, there is your 21 by 9 display up and running. Like I say, it's just a case of replacing two values and away we go. Now, it's from what I can see for us, I've tried it on two different displays, two different computers with different configurations and it works fine. As you can see, it looks a lot better and it certainly doesn't get stretched again. So, I hope this guide was helpful to you and hope you don't people out with this. Uh, if it was, give us a thumbs up, think about subscribing, um, you know, we'll try and do quite regular videos, especially on PC stuff, so uh, thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.